Steven Tyler leaks unreleased Aerosmith song, I Don't Wanna Kiss Your Thing. Okay. I wonder if this is... Okay. On Joe Rogan's podcast last week, Steven Tyler let it slip that the original lyrics to the song, I Don't Wanna Miss a Thing, may have been profoundly different than the song we have come to know. After some deep web research and a few house calls in Maui, this blog was granted exclusive access to a portion of the unreleased song. Below is the leak from Joe Rogan's podcast, followed by the clip of the unreleased songs. It appears that the original version of the song was actually about Steven Tyler's refusal to, quote, kiss your thing, which by the described stink must surely refer to a gentle lady's private parts. Following the revelation of the unreleased track, DJ Khaled commented that he too does not kiss it. I don't want to kiss your thing. <laughs> okay. That's weird that it's such... I wonder if this is real. Um, yeah. <laughs> this might kind of be a joke, but it's, it's, a, it's a funny one. Um, yeah, given that it's such a power ballad uh, song, that, that'd be weird if those were the actual lyrics and it was just a uh, kind of juvenile song. Song about fellatio. Um, but thanks for sharing, James. That's kind of funny. Um, I like it. All right. Let's see. That's a much lighter story than the first one, huh? Much lighter. And, uh, to be honest, I'm not a fan of that song either. I'm not a fan of I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. I, I thought it was a little, um, it was just kind of too cheesy, I thought, and it was not the best, um, it just wasn't a great representation of them. Um, I mean, it was, Aerosmith's really great at the power ballad, but I, in my humble opinion, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing was, was sort of contrived compared to something like Crying or Amazing or Living on the Edge, um, or even like, I mean, Dream, well, Dream On's not really a power ballad, but I don't know, you get the idea. I, I just thought I Don't Want to Miss a Thing was kind of a contrived, um, more easily digestible version of those songs, and I, I just think those songs are just, I, I prefer them a lot. Um, and I saw Aerosmith live a good bit during that time, and I I kind of like got bored when they played I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, you know, and, and of course everybody, everybody all snuggled up, and they were all like, oh, I love you in that movie, and Bruce Willis, and I, I just wasn't into it. Um, of course, at the time, I was a preteen, and I didn't have a girlfriend, so while everyone else was being all lovey-dovey, I was just by myself going, ugh, puberty sucks. So, you know, <laughs> maybe some of that was uh, was on me. Um, but cool. Thanks for sharing, James. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer-curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.